Here's the 1-0 from O'Neill, and the fastball is hit in the air, shallow right field to the Sunbelt Conference Player of the Week. Uh, Jake Book settles under it and will make the catch. And here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. And uh, looks like uh, Bender may have caught uh, into a perfect 4-0 week. The 1-1 hammered in a right field, but off the end of the bat, and Brown is there for the play. The catch and these ball pulls announced yesterday. Yeah, the 2-2 swung on and missed. Peschel kicks and deals. The 2-2 is hit in the air, left center field. Hanging up for Bonds, battling the wind, and he'll make the play. Where he hit 367 and lines a hot shot to the second baseman. Riley playing just behind second base. The throw to first mishandled by Reed Stallman on what should have been. He has eight RBIs, the one-two, and it's hit up the middle. Will it get down? Thompson charging in, makes the catch, and the side's retired here in his sophomore season. The one-two is hit on the ground. Two hops to Antonacci, and the high hop off the glove. O'Neill lasted just three innings one week ago, and 3-0 swinging as Harrell. He pops it up to the right side of the infield, and in foul territory, now it's Barthel in foul territory. Beach was unable to thing right behind second base. And this ball is going to get by Bender and roll all the way to the backstop. Bender was anticipating host to USC Upstate. 2-2 is swung on and missed. Strike three for O'Neill. Victory for the Shants. And this ball hit on the ground sharply. To the left of second base is second baseman Blake Barthel handles the hot shot. The 2-2 is hit in the air high and deep to right field. There it goes. Blake Barthel. His first home run of the season. Coastal on the board. Shots up 1-0 here in the home half of the fourth. The count to Caden Bodine. And pops it up uh, right side of the infield, out in front of the changeup. First baseman Reed Stallman is there. He'll make the play. Johnson, Oliver Ellison has contributed as well as Bender takes the 3 2 way outside. Ball four. Peschel, the righty, uh, deals a fastball, and what do you know? He's going to end up at first base. What is it they say? So runners lead from first and second. First pitch to Brown is hit on the ground to the shortstop. Harris will flip to Riley. He's safe at second, and everyone's safe. A little slow so far this season. And the 1-0 line in the left field, and that's going to go for extra bases. It one-hops the wall. Two runs come in. Book stays hot. It's a two-run double for the Coastal sophomore. Four runs on four hits. And Mijos pops one up, shallow right field. Charging in is Harrell, he is there. Bender is going to put on the brakes. And the good throw from Harrell, nearly skipped away from Nip, uh, but a good job by Roberts to the 3-1. Is hit in the air to left field, going back is Bonds, way back at the track, and he makes the catch for the final out of the inning. Here's the 1-2. And it's hit in the air, off the end of the bat, uh, Brown has plenty of room there, and he'll make the catch. One away, next line, here's the 0-2. Hit in the air, center field. Mijos right there, positioned perfectly. A couple of steps in now, charging in, and he'll make the play, rather than to put another zero on the scoreboard. Uh, but they might not do that, as uh, this ball is a towering fly ball by Riley, and it's gonna tuck in over the wall, into the corner. Drops into the Campbell bullpen. And a two-out solo home run by Chandler Riley puts the Camels on the board. And the payoff. It's hit on the ground to Antonacci. He'll field it and bobble it, and he can't handle it. And uh, this one should be at first, the 0-1. It's hit in the air into right field and deep, uh, but this one will stay in the park as Brown settles under it, and he makes the catch. And Antonacci is going to be hit by pitch after watching the first pitch fly by for a cold strike. And now it'll be a 3-2. Antonacci takes off and Barthel hits a high fly ball. This ball carrying into right field and deep. Harrell is there and Antonacci will head back. Bodine is 0 for 2. The runner goes on the 1-0 pitch and Antonacci has second base stolen.
Antonacci off the bag at second. Here's the one-two, and it's lined in the right field for a base hit. Antonacci is going to be waved home. He scores easily. And a two-strike knock for Caden Bodine. In five of the seven games he's played this year. Bender swings at the first pitch. It's a fly ball to right field. Got in on his hands just a bit there. And the jam shot goes to Harrell in right on one. The one-two is hit in the air high and deep to left field. If it's fair, it's got a chance. And it will drip. Oh, it's gone. How about that? It's a beach blast. His fourth consecutive game. Zach Beach has left the yard. He now has five on the year. And it's a two-run shot. How about that? And this ball is hammered into left center field and deep. Going back is Dalen Thompson. He makes the, the play look easy yeah, up against the wall. None. As the one-two pitch is grounded to Barthel at second. Flip over to first in time. One away. It's contest. The 2-2. Two -two. And there's a called third strike. The hammer gets dropped by Fluky. As we move through this year, going to be a huge asset for this coastal pitching staff as Stallman takes one out to left, uh, and it's going to carry out of here off the boardwalk uh, on a 94-mile-an-hour fastball. A solo home run by a pretty good league. That includes a couple of opponents in the midweek uh, this year. Leads over Campbell. And now this pitch gets away from Fluky and will go all the way to the backstop on a wild pitch a moment ago. And back-to-back uh, -back wild pitches now. Has moved the base runner to third. Three and two, the payoff is up high, ball four. And now the 0-2, and it's swung on and missed. 95 mile an hour fastball, Fluky picks up two strokes, one for two here tonight. And the pitch is swung on and missed. Dean Mijos. Takes the first pitch right on the back. Ouch. Leg muscle. And now they've got Dino picked off. He was leaning and ready to go. And uh, now he's going to get caught in a pickle here between first and second. It's the shortstop back to the first baseman, Stallman. Uh, with uh, a little extra emphasis on that tag at first base. Here's the payoff. And it's lined in the right center field. That's going to get down. And it may go for extra bases. Dooley ain't going to stop. And he will hustle into second with a two-out double. Well, the strikeouts today, and first pitch swinging, lines went to right field, but that will hang up for Harrell, and on one pitch, Antone in that fifth inning. But here on three pitches, on a couple of uh, called third strikes, the 2-2, two -two, hit in the air to right center, Mijos is gonna have to go a long way, and it's gonna drop in front of him. Here's the pitch, and it's tapped back to the mound, could be two, they'll go to Barthel at second for one, over to first, it's a 1-4-3. And the 3-1 pitch from Palmer is outside, ball four. Here's the 1-1, one, one. the runner goes, and taking all the way is Bodine. Barthel has second base stolen. Here's the 2-2 two -two to Bo, and it's lined in the center field for a base hit. And uh, they're going to put the brakes on as the throw hit home goes over the head of an RBI opportunity here for the Coastal catcher. Okay, and he swings at the first pitch, grounds it inside the third base line. Two runs are going to come in. Bender heads to second. It's a two-run extra base hit for Derek Bender. Still no one out in the inning. And now they've got Bender picked off, but Palmer throws it into center field. And Bender will now take third on the play. It'll be an error. Here's the 3-2 now. Way outside, ball four. And the 3-0 is outside, a four-pitch walk. Gilly mentioned during the Myrtle Beach Family Golf uh, countdown to first pitch, uh, Books goes down on the back door of Van Scooter as the 1 1 pitch is popped up, foul territory. And uh, the first baseman, Reed Stallman, look for a bounce back start at some point this weekend as Dooley's pitch is hit off the end uh, of the bat, and then it looked like it hit the uh, rosin bag. And the payoff pitch is low ball four. So while the hit streak is likely to the first three innings tonight as Barthel squares to Bunny, pulls back, and Antonacci uh, will steal second base. And now Barthel will lay down a bunt, uh, sacrifice variety, uh, and they throw him out, uh, does Bargo, uh, and a well-executed. The payoff pitch is taken up high, ball four. Or make that six for 11, rather. 
Did he go? And he did. Bender says, or the home plate umpire says he went around 1-1 here to Zach Beach. And it's low, and they're going to try and throw the runner out at second. And, uh, well, the runner from third is going to score. And the 1-1 grounded on a couple of hops deep. Uh, throw for Dooley. What a throw across the diamond. A one from Hinkle. Is hit in the air, shallow right center field. Graham Brown will make the call and the catch, and on four pitches, plate. And the 2 0 pitch, hit in the air, foul territory, right side playable for Zach Beach. He is there and makes the catch for the final out of tonight's game. Ball game 